Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. I think we've all had the experience of uh, a group of people or a single person who's just standing on a street corner yelling at people. And I, I had one of these experiences at a U2 concert a couple years ago. It was on the, the U2 360 tour. And my wife and I were so excited to see it. We were actually meeting up with some friends who had waited in line for a long time to get floor seats, right? And as we approached them, I think we even maybe ran out to get them lunch or something. And we came back with that food. And there was a group of people just yelling at the folks that were in line to get to the pit. And they were just yelling and yelling and they were saying things like, you're going to hell and that you too is devil music and, and you need to repent now and get out of line and go home. And I mean, it was just insane some of the things they were saying. And for some reason, I was feeling real brave that day. It just, it just really bothered me. I could feel my face almost turn red, probably because my friend Dylan was one of the people in line. And so he's just being kind of yelled at and, and things that aren't true. And so I actually confronted the guy, the main guy who was yelling. I just asked him, help, help me understand uh, how, how this concert is going to send anybody to hell. And I was trying to just engage him long enough that he would stop yelling at the crowd, that maybe he'd have a conversation with me. And he just turned and he said, this man wants to know why. And I said, no, no, hold, let's just have a conversation. I'd like to really understand. And in fact, nobody in line is listening to you. So I'm offering an ear I'd like to hear. This man wants to know. He just wouldn't have the conversation with me. And I tell you the story because uh, we're on to the third commandment. The third commandment is to not use, do not misuse God's name, right? This is the no, don't use God's name in vain commandment. And oftentimes we think of this as, as not swearing, right? No JD, GDs or JCs, right? Uh, but it includes that uh, because basically what it's saying is, the, is not to misrepresent God. Uh, basically God's reputation is based on how we act and how we treat others. And so not only swearing and, and watching the, the words that come out of our mouths, the, the jokes that we tell and things like that, but oppression is probably the biggest misrepresentation of God. And what I said to this guy as he was yelling at my friends in line, I said, listen, you think that you're helping them, you're teaching them about God, but the very thing, the very person you want to bring them closer to, you're actually pushing them away. I don't see anywhere in the Bible where somebody stands or at least is praised for standing and yelling at people and that somebody's life has changed as a result. That's just not what Jesus did. Jesus invited people into relationship. He would have taken, he would have been the one bringing a lunch to the person in that line and standing there and asking them about their lives. And I, I tried to engage this guy in that way and he just kept turning it and yelling at the crowd more. And unfortunately, that guy cast a very different picture, a misrepresentation of God, and he very much was using God's name in vain. See, it says in John 13, uh, 34 through 35, it says that we are, we are to love one another. We, we are to use, because of how Jesus loved us and because God loved us by sending Jesus, we are to take that and love one another. And this is how people will know that we are God's disciples, that we are his followers. They will know we are Christians by the way we act. It, notice it doesn't say uh, you should fix one another or that they will know you're Christians by how loud you yell at them or rebuke them or how, how wrong you tell them they are. No, it says love one another. And see, I think it's really easy to point the finger at that guy um, and it was a group of people and they would switch out <laughs> so they didn't lose their voices. It's just easy to point, the, point a finger at them and say, man, you're misrepresenting God. But the challenge today in this commandment is in what places do we misrepresent God? If people are supposed to know our God better by how we interact with them, then how are we doing that? How well are we doing? In what places can we better treat others so that they know and they have a more accurate picture of who God is. We are God's representation. 
And so use his name correctly in the way that communicates love to one another. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to follow us each week, click here to subscribe. And if you want to take it a little bit further, click here for discussion materials.